guys. Um, I decided to vlog today. Today is no December 30th, right before the new year. You'll be watching this on the new year. And I thought it'd be a good day to show you guys some stuff that I bought recently from like sales and all of that good stuff. As well as show you guys my vision board because I finally made one. I've actually never made one. I used to make them all the time when I was younger, but like they weren't I mean, they were like what I envisioned my future life to be, which is, I guess, a vision board, but. I'm currently in the process of deciding if I want to redo this room again. This is my office, if you're not familiar. Um, I'm not gonna be doing too much to it, so it wouldn't change like last time when I went from like pink to white. I would just be taking the art over here and putting it against this wall. So I haven't decided if that is something I wanna do or not, um, but something I'm just kind of thinking about because New Year, I just think it'd be really cool if I had a bunch of like collage wall over here like with the mirror, which I have that bright mirror, which you can't see, and then have another curtain wall so I don't have to see the stupid door. The door kills my vibe and that way TikToks and stuff would be lit by my window, which is what you guys are sitting behind or in front, in front of. But before we get into that, let me show you guys what I have bought recently. There's so many sales this time of year and it's just so glorious because I love a good sale. So Forward has a really good one. If you guys aren't familiar, Forward's like the designer version of like sister site to Revolve. And you guys know I'm a huge Revolve girl. Big Revolve girl. Love it. Especially because I discovered they do that like happy returns, which I had never done a happy return before. But if you guys are familiar, you take it into like a FedEx office or like a Staples and you can get a full refund right there. It is a game changer. Anyway, so I ordered two things from Forward. First thing being this Isabel Morant jacket thing. I got it for like 200 bucks, so cute. Um, just a zip up, I thought it was cute. And I'm pairing it with these camo pants. I saw a blogger wear it like this and I was like sold. So that is something I got. I'm going to LA in January and I'm going for a top secret thing. Not really even top secret, more just like, I'm scared to talk about it here on YouTube because I don't want anyone to make fun of me. I'm really excited about it. And if you listen to That's Loaded, then you know what I'm going out there for. I wanted to start getting some cute things for that trip. And I thought this would be the perfect night out outfit. And this corset runs super, super, super small. It is this Laquan Smith corset bustier top and let me tell you guys it snatches you in an incredible amount like it's actually insane how much it snatches you in i'm really excited about it so i will try this on later but i got this from revolve it's expensive but i just okay one of the things that i'm going to implement into 2022 like my word of the year is going to be, which I stole that from Caitlin, thanks, um, invest. Because I want to, when I buy something, think to myself, how is this going to further improve my life? And I want to invest in things that will do that in my eyes. There's that. I love this outfit that Amina Mawadi wore to Paris Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, one of the two. And I just thought it was so cool. And I've really wanted these Balenciaga track pants for the longest time because track pants are back in style. And I wanted a pair, but I every time I go to the thrift store, it's all just like really icky ones and not the vibe that I wanted. So I found these ones. Um, I had a coupon code, so I got a little additional percentage off and I ended up getting these for like 300 bucks, which is obviously expensive, but compared to the fact that they are $1,000 pants, I thought it was a good deal. They're from the men's section. They're just track pants. They say Balenciaga there, and they're very like wide-legged. So I got that. You guys know 
that these highlighters from Charlotte Tilbury are like super hard to find because they go out of stock all the time. Revolve had the Beauty Light wand in stock and so I swooped that up. So I'm very excited about that. I'm wearing it today. But yes, that's what I have to show you guys. Also, I will show you my vision board now because, and I'll talk you guys through it because that seems kind of fun, right? <sighs> what am I doing? You know, like what am I doing? I'm currently in the process of cleaning out my closet here because I need to do a lot of that. I need to like do post a lot of stuff on Poshmark because my clothes are insane. I'm trying to get out things that I haven't touched. <sighs> I'm stressed out thinking about it. Thank God for this emotional support Diet Coke. So let me pull up my vision board. A lot of you guys are gonna ask what I used to do it on. I did it with Procreate on my iPad mini, but I've seen a lot of people on TikTok talk about doing it on Canva, PicMonkey, places like that. So you can make it on there or you can like do the old fashioned way and cut stuff out of a magazine. But I actually went to my saved Instagrams and I went through that. I screenshotted the ones that really inspired me and like what I want to see in 2022. And I, from there, made a vision board out of it. Most of my vision board is very wedding focused, relationship focused, and um, like career focused. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. So here is, okay, cute. I'm gonna put it on the screen while I talk about it actually, cause that's just gonna be a lot easier. So, I have just, as you can see, there's a lot of like disco related stuff when it comes to my wedding. Um, that's because the wedding is very 70s kind of Studio 54 vibes, which I need to do a whole wedding update on because I'm just completely, like I hate wedding planning. I, I thought I'd be a girl that loved wedding planning. Definitely not. Um, I have these pair of shoes, which I think I want my wedding shoes to be or I think these are the shoes that I want my wedding shoes to be. And they are the Jimmy Choo ones, so basic, but they're just so good. The, I want actually a cigar band for my, or my wedding ring. I just loved this vibe right here. Such a cool vibe. And the words that I have written on the entire thing is disco, collaboration, growth, farfetch, investment, and revolve festival. So those are the big words that I have. I have collaboration on there because I really want to work with a lot of brands when it comes to my wedding. I actually haven't been very, like I haven't done a lot with that aspect. And I just think this is like the time to do it. I don't know, it just seems organic and like I'm getting married kind of situation. Like I would love to work with like The Knot or like a florist or something like that. Um, and then I have growth because I really feel like this is the year of growth when it comes to my career, my YouTube, my TikTok, all of those facets of my life. I have my girl Maeve Riley up here, which is kind of a nod to something that I'm doing in January. Two pictures from Coachella because obviously Coachella is such a big time in my life. Um, it's a big you're like I go every year and it's hopefully happening again this year and that being said I have the revolve festival thing if they do revolve festival I'm like trying so hard because I would love to go with revolve that's like putting it out there in the universe I went to New York fashion week with them and I just think it'd be the coolest thing ever um I have Farfetch on here. As you guys know, I work with Farfetch a lot and I would love to continue to do so because it's like my favorite brand. And then a lot of the pictures that I have on here are just like inspiration. So I've got like mock and mock heels. I've just got it all on there and that's just like the type of aesthetic that I want to be putting out for you guys. A lot of fashion focused because that's really what I think I'm actually good at. Some of you will Probably say not, but I just am confident in that aspect of my life. And now my camera's dying. Please hold. Okay, my freaking camera died. This is a camera that I have. I love it. The batteries just die so fast. And I want to ask um, anybody that's watching this, if they have this camera, do they run into that issue? 
because my camera dies so quick but i love the camera quality the camera quality is so good so i'm gonna go charge all that and then i'm going i think to start potentially working on cleaning up my closet i don't want to do that but i know i need to <sighs> second to last day of December and this is how I'm doing it look at my hair I'm disgusting cute okay so here is the first thing that I got this is the Isabel Morant pullover sweatshirt I got it in a size like 38 I think or 36 I'm not entirely sure anymore but it's so cute I saw her name's Emily but she's a Copenhagen or maybe yeah Copenhagen blogger she styled it with her camo pants and I liked that vibe so here I am here is oh I'm out of breath trying to zip this up this is the Laquan Smith corset which looks a lot better when I'm not like full of food so definitely a vibe I literally just saw the sun for the first time in week like a week probably every single day since Christmas has been pure well, and Christmas Eve. So yeah, past week, just pure rain, gloominess. Currently just chilling in my living room. Um, yeah, the sun came out. Of course it didn't come out till 2.45, which means it'll be dark in like an hour. Love that. Um, but I'm just currently watching YouTube videos, enjoying my time off because that's what YouTubers and Instagrammers and all those people are saying it's a time off this week, but I don't know. I'll let you guys know when I have something useful to say, but until then, enjoy this. I really dropped the ball on this vlog. <laughs> Oops. Um, but I'm currently taking down the Christmas decorations today because it's the second. Um, we are going to be storing them in our attic type situation in Cody's room um, just because we don't want to risk any flooding action ever again because that was terrible. I'll probably still put the Christmas tree on an elevated surface in our basement but for the most part everything is going to be upstairs. But um, I went to Home Depot today. I bought four storage containers with our Home Depot gift cards that we got for Christmas, holler! Um, but the reason I picked up the camera was because I wanted to show you this life hack that I learned from some YouTube channel. I forget what it is. Um, it's some girl who literally her entire like channel is interior design and like Christmas stuff and all that goodness. And she showed putting twinkle lights like the kind that you get on Amazon and you wrap it around a box like this so it doesn't get all tangled when you need to reuse it and every single time I've ever had lights like this um, they've always gotten tangled and it's been impossible for me to ever use them again so I wanted to share that little tip um, that I got from her channel because I thought it was a good a good one and um, thankfully it's like saving my life but yeah, we're taking down the Christmas tree today. It's already looking so sad without the bows on it. Um, I got a few... Okay, so the reason I didn't do a tour of my Christmas decor is because I know next year I won't have as much Christmas content because obviously with my wedding and everything, um, being in November, it's just not gonna happen. And I want to still be able to make Christmas-related videos, so I feel like next year I'll do that because... I don't have that to talk about but I made these bows with some ribbon I got on Amazon I think they turned out really well I've never tied a bow in my life I just figured it out myself I didn't watch any YouTube things um, so they're not that good but they got the job done whatever that's what's going on I'm so sad to be taking Christmas stuff down <laughs> but I did get a sonic diet coke today i haven't had one of these in probably like six months when i first moved to nashville i was like addicted it is a sonic diet vanilla coke with easy ice let's take down this christmas tree this is my first flock tree i told told you guys that um i loved it it was from home depot or hobby lobby sorry 
Um, and then these ornaments are from CB2. They sold out really early though. And then I just put on some spray painted ornaments that were like clear that I spray painted. And if you look really close, they are actu actually very terrible. But you don't need to know that. Hello. I've been terrible about vlogging today, but um, I took down a lot of the Christmas stuff. I still have technically two trees up, but they don't have anything on it. But I started my period and it's not feeling good right now. So I just decided to sit down. But um, I did want to show you guys because I don't know if you guys remember this dress that I got from Revolve for under $100. It's like feathered. It's so good. It's like Spanx sucks you in. They came out with like a white version and I just feel like I need to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are getting married too and for under $100 like the perfect bachelorette dress. So I'm going to link it in the description box but I just love it and I want to share some other things I'm loving because I love online shopping and it's my favorite thing and I'm getting ready for a trip to LA. I think I talked about that at the beginning of the vlog. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but I... I don't know. I don't need new clothes for it, but I want new clothes, but only new clothes that that go with my word invest. So it will make my life a better life because I'm a material girl. Anyway, where am I going with this? Also, I need to pick up my Revolve picks for, for January. Duh, here we go with my dirty screen. That's embarrassing. So this is my favorite list. I'm literally ordering these earrings because they look like the perfect silver hoops. So you'll be seeing me rock these. Um, love the color of green. Do I need another green sweatsuit though? Probably not, but I will probably get that. Um, I love this blazer, such a good one, but that price is kind of outrageous. Um, I mean, there's just so much good stuff. I love this outfit. Um, I love this for a bachelorette. I want this coat so bad. Um, this is the dress that I was talking about. $96. And I guess it still comes in black. Let's look. Oh. It is on pre-order. That's exciting. Anyway. Okay, where was I? Okay, here we go. So, Cole Gaia has the cutest sunglasses. How cute are these? I kind of want these ones because they're more practical, but I love the coloring of these. Arizona Love. This is like a Saint Laurent dupe. Obviously really expensive. Um, these boots, amazing. I can't decide if I want these ones, which are dark brown, or if I want these. I'll probably get the dark brown ones. Um, I love this set. I don't know where I'd wear it. It's not very national friendly, but there's my bustier that I have in red. I know that these are going to be a huge hit. I feel like everyone's going to have them in spring. Um, this is actually a dupe for the um, Charlotte Tilbury. So check that out. I have two colors favorited. Um, I have these currently in my cart for my January picks. I want them so bad. I saw them on her Instagram and they just look so amazing. This is my Attico dupe dress that I talk about all the time because I almost bought this exact dress from the Attico for like 400 bucks and then I saw this for 78 and I was like, okay. Um, yes, again, I have this dress and it's amazing. I have these sweatpants and they're amazing. I think I might, this is like a potential dress for my shower. Isn't that good? That's like so cute. I think that'd be a good like bridal moment. What's another good bridal moment? Oh my God. Literally bachelorette party vibes, iconic. I clearly have a feather problems. I have this dress, I wore it the other for Christmas. Um, okay, this is fucking hot. What else do we have? My favorite brush, is this back in stock yet? No. Love, love the bar. I have so many like white dresses on here for those who are having like engagement things. Like this is a dress I wore for my engagement pictures. Oh, I have so much good stuff over here. So I'm gonna link it all. Check it out. It's like online shopping with me. We love to see it. 
so um this is like such a random vlog and i probably am gonna post it because i don't really have much other stuff to post so Ooh. <laughs> but i don't think i'm gonna end it here i'm gonna end it probably tomorrow because i have a coat coming and i know you guys want to see it i don't know if that was english but whatever